transition metals. The series of elements in the periodic table in which the D and F subshells are gradually filled are called the transition metals or transition elements. There are about uh, 50 transition elements and they have widely varying and fascinating properties. To present even one interesting feature of each transition element is beyond uh, the scope of our course. Uh, transition uh, metals typically have incompletely filled D uh, subshells or uh, really uh, give rise to ions with incompletely filled D subshells or F subshells. This attribute is uh, responsible for several notable properties, including distinctive coloring, formation of paramagnetic compounds catalytic activity, and especially a great tendency to form complex ions. Across any period from left to right, atomic numbers increase. Electrons are added to the outer shell, uh, and the nuclear charge increases uh, by the addition of protons. In the third period, uh, elements from sodium to argon, the outer electrons weakly shield one another from the extra nuclear charge. Consequently, atomic radii decrease uh, rapidly from sodium to argon, and the electronegativities and ionization energies increase steadily. For the transition metals, the trends are different. Looking at the table, we see that the nuclear charge of course increases from scandium to copper but electrons are being added uh, to the inner uh, the 3d subshell these 3d electrons shield the 4s electrons from the increasing nuclear charge somewhat more effectively than outer uh, shell electrons uh, can shield one another so the atomic radio decrease uh, less rapidly for the same reason, electronegativities and ionization energies increase only slightly from scandium across to copper, com compared with the increases from sodium to argon. Although the transition metals are less electropositive or more electronegative than the alkali and alka alkaline earth metals, the standard uh, reduction potentials suggest uh, that all of them, except copper, should react with strong acids such as hydrochloric acid to produce uh, hydrogen gas. However, most transition metals are inert toward uh, acids or react uh, slowly with them because of a uh, protective layer of oxide. The case in point is chromium. Despite a rather negative standard reduction potential, it's uh, quite inert uh, chemically because of the formation of its surface of chromium uh, 3 oxide. Consequently, chromium is commonly used as a protective and uh, non-corrosive uh, plating uh, on other metals. On automobile bumpers and trim, chromium plating uh, serves a decorative as well as a functional purpose. Most of the transition metals have a close packet uh, structure in uh, which each atom has a coordination number of 12. Furthermore, these elements have relatively small atomic radii the combined effect of closest packing and small atomic size results as strong metal bonds. Therefore, transition metals have higher densities, higher melting points and boiling points, and rather heat of fusion and vaporization that, than the alkali and alkali metals. You can see it in this table. The atomic radii, melting and boiling points and density of potassium and calcium, and transition metals. 
Transition metals exhibit uh, variable oxidation states in way in the compounds. And this, uh, this figure shows the oxidation states from scandium to copper. Not that the common oxidation states uh, for each element include uh, 2 plus, uh, plus 2, or plus 3, or both. The oxidation states um, plus 3 uh, is more stable at the beginning of the series, uh, whereas toward the end, the 2 plus oxidation states are more stable. Uh, the reason of this trend can be understood by examining the ionization energy plots. In general, the ionization energy increases uh, gradually from left to right. However, the third ionization energy, then the electron is removed from the 3D orbital, increases more rapidly from the first and second ionization energies. Because it uh, takes more energy to remove the third electron from the metal metals near the end of the row, then from uh, those near the beginning, the metals near the end tend to form a metal 2 plus ions rather than metal 3 plus ions. The highest oxidation state for uh, transition metals is plus 7 for manganese. For elements uh, to the right of manganese, uh, oxidation numbers are lower. Transition metals usually exhibit the, their higher, highest oxidation states in compounds uh, with very heteronegative elements, uh, such as oxygen and fluorine. For example, divanadium pentoxide, chromium trioxide, and demanganese uh, gepoxide. In this picture, you can see the appearance of uh, transition metals from scandium to copper. You can see they are different. They ha they have uh, different uh, colors, uh, colors and appearance. We uh, will not study the chemical properties of each of these elements uh, because it's beyond to this course. Uh, some properties you can see on the video um, about uh, coordination compounds.